Well, all my fantastic artistic friends, a few weeks ago, I painted a, a round canvas with a nice little seascape on there with a lovely looking sky and everything like that. Um, but today, we've got a dark canvas. It's been primed in black primer, allowed to dry completely. Then on top of that, we've put a little bit of transparent color on there, which is phthalo blue and a little bit of uh, uh, Indian yellow down here. We're gonna have a nice stormy, really stormy lightning bolt seascape. Just the same as what we did, but obviously a different time of, uh, uh, of day. So let's crack on with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice little, this is the blending brush that I usually use. And I'm just gonna go into this with a little bit of titanium white, just on the blender brush. And I'm just gonna tap in just randomly, just some clouds that are, that are gonna live up here. And, and they could be anywhere they want. I think I put a little bit of magenta in this in places as well, if uh, I accidentally picked it up, you see. Okay, just just there like that. I don't wanna go over the whole thing, because um, I want to change the, uh, the style. So I'll just leave that like that. And then I'm gonna take a fan brush with a little bit of titanium white on again. And I'm gonna just, let this zing and dance. You may have seen a painting already that I've done. I don't know if it's gone out yet. That, that's used a very similar technique where we just pop in a little bit of uh, cloudy shapes just using just using the, uh, the fan brush. Just let it dance and jiggle and, and, and whatever we want to do. Just like that. All along. Okay. Maybe you could take it a bit further down. I think we'll have the water, obviously not directly in the middle. So we'll have it there, let's say. Just bring it down like that. Maybe a couple on this side, just like that. Easy peasy stuff, yeah? Now take a big dry two inch brush. And what I'm gonna do is gonna turn and swirl all this and the white will mix with the colors in the background, which is blues. I think there's a bit of magenta in there, so it may get a little bit of a purpley tone to that. And we'll just swirl this up, just turn it, churn it, easy peasy, and that will give us a little bit of background material in the sky. There we go, okay, that's what we're after. Okay, onto this big fluffy cloud. Okay, same thing again, same principle. But the brush that we used had a little bit of a different sort of flavour to the painting. And we'll just swirl this up and turn it and churn it. Yeah. So, uh, so nearly swallowed a the fly then. So if you're liking these paintings, just let me tell you something. If you're liking these paintings, it'll whop in 70%, around about 70%. People that view these paintings are not subscribed. So if you if you want to help us out, you know, just just click the subscribe button and uh, and leave me a nice comment as well. I like reading all your comments. And uh, and if you get to the end of the video, just give it a bit of a like. That's all you have to do. It doesn't cost anything, and it does make me really happy. Okay, and then you get to watch. More Master Temple paintings, you know, if you hit that bell as well. Anyway, enough of all that lot. Enough of all that lot. Right, so let's put a nice big uh, lightning bolt in there. We said we're going to have a lightning bolt, so let's get a brush. We'll take this one and we'll load this little tiny brush up full of titanium white paint. And let's have this lightning bolt come from up here off the canvas just there and just push in and maybe it goes through that cloud and then back there and then around jiggle zigzag think of how lightning would strike all the way down to the water just there and then maybe there's another offshoot really crackle and get involved with it yeah there like that. I love lightning. It's one of the most fascinating things in nature. Really, really fascinating. Maybe we've got a little bit of an offshoot there as well. Okay, so some some folks say they can't draw stick men, you know, because they've got a shaky, shaky hand. Well, I'm gonna tell you something now. I've got shaky hands, right? 
I've got shaky hands and this sort of painting is absolutely ideal for you for that. Okay, let's go back to the brush that we uh, blended the sky with. Okay, and then what we're all gonna do is just take this out, okay? Merge it out. So when I put the color on the canvas, I didn't put any liquid clear on there. I just put straight, a really thin coat of oil paint. And I think, because I've done this many times, this kind of painting. And I think sometimes if you put a little bit of liquid clear on there, it can, it can have a bit of an effect on the, uh, you know, it makes it a bit more smudgy. You want a nice firm paint up there. It's still wet on wet, still have a premium uh, painting technique, but uh, I just want it a little bit firmer, that's all. Okay, now then, do a couple of ways. We can do this with the, the, the liner brush or we could do it with a knife. So I'm gonna take the knife okay and i'm just going to use the heel of the knife with some white paint and, and, and zigzag this all the way up, up up to the top there like so and then we'll come through that cloud and don't worry about the cloud we'll we'll work on a, a little bit more on that once we've done this now really push onto the canvas you're not going to hurt it in any way there we go i hope you're all, all keeping all right as well I really do, and then we'll follow it back like that. It works okay with a script liner brush as well. Like I said, I've done this uh, a few times on on the Temple Treasures channel. I think you can still view those videos as well. See, I used to have a coin channel. If you didn't know, uh, well, I still have a coin channel, but I used to have a channel where I did painting and coins, and I've decided to, you know, I decided at Christmas to split them up see how we're going there and then maybe a, a little bit of an offshoot so just the tip of the knife like that and maybe bring this one round yeah and if you get a little bit too much on don't worry don't worry a thing all you need to do is is blend it away and start again blend it in and it'll work part of your your glow your aurora whatever they call it i don't know what they call it I should know, shouldn't I? If I think on, I'll put the word up on the screen, uh, but I probably won't think on. Someone remind me. <laughs> Someone tell me down in the comments, what is it, the glow around a lightning bolt? Or is it just a glow? I don't know. I don't know. Right, so we'll take this down there as well. Like that. And make it a little bit more there and maybe a, another offshoot of there it looks a bit of a natural place to have some electricity coming off maybe there there like that and a bit of a fork there 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 we go so now we've got us lightning we've got a sky right just let's rework that cloud a little bit just to give it a little bit more definition because we don't want it to to look muted so we'll take a fan brush and a little bit of white paint and I'm just go on a tap just there just just let that dance around jiggle a bit there like so maybe bring it up there like maybe down there like that okay and then we'll just tickle that out let's get a brush any brush will do and then just tickle this out Blend it in, there, like that. Just like so, and there we have it. Lightning going through a cloud. Just lift that up slightly. Try not to touch your lightning, but if you do, you do. You know what to do, you know how to rework it. Okay, now then, let's get, uh, let's get uh, crazy, as the uh, fluffy head man used to say. So we're gonna have some sea down here. So where's that fan brush I've just had? I've just put it somewhere. There I go. See, all this space has still run out of space. So we're gonna have some sea round about here. So a bit of white paint on the brush. Doesn't have to be straight. Take it there. Hardly any paint on the brush there, you see. And I think we'll have a bit of a crashing wave. I'm going to stand back, see if that's straight, because the last thing I want to do is have a wonky scene. 
maybe a bit higher there. What's usually kind of good is if you have a is if you have a bit of masking tape across there and just pull it off and then a pressed or you've got a straight horizon line. But I'm too lazy, I didn't do that. Okay, let's put a nice big wave in this. So let me get rid of that fan brush. It's, uh, it's losing its air. Let's pick up another one. And we're going to have a wave, a big crashing wave. And it's going to start like that. And it's going to come back there like so. Okay, and that's going to come round like that. And then swirl up. We might have it swirling up and crashing up there like that. If that makes sense, if you can see what we're doing. Okay, a little bit of thin white paint, okay, and we're going to go, in fact, we'll put the eye in first, we'll put the eye in first, get a little brush, where are you, too many brushes, too many brushes, you'll do, right, so I'm going to take some Indian yellow, Indian yellow, uh, and titanium white, and I'm just going to scrub in there just like that really scrub indian yellow and titanium white i'm gonna grab and i'm gonna pull round like think like a wave okay big circular strokes like that pull round shape your wave okay just like that and then maybe a little bit up there okay this is possibly night time with the dark sky so that's all good that's all good. Okay, there we go. So I'll just pull that down there like that. Nice and easy. Easy peasy. Right. Just going to swirl that off. Now you can do that several times if you want the, the eye of the wave or the money shot of the wave, uh, as some people say. A little bit lighter. You can do it. Just go back in there and do it again. Dry fan brush. I'm going to grab that white line and just pull it back. Just pull it. Just pull it back. Okay. And again, that'll mix with some of the colour that's on the canvas. So you get a variant of colours as you're doing all this. It looks super cool. I've said it a few times. Doing them in, uh, seeing them in real life. It's actually a lot better than seeing them on 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 uh, on, uh, on telly or on your phone or on your laptop or whatever whatever device you use. You, you know, those who have bought from me, I do have a shop at Etsy, Master Temple Arts. Those who have bought paintings from me will know that they're better actually in real life than they are on screen. Okay, enough of that, Dan. We're not here to promote yourself. Or maybe you are. I don't know. Right. So what we're going to do is. Just pull over like that. Pull over. There. This is just white, titanium white paint. Tiny bit of, tiny bit of um, liquid white in there as well. So there we've got a big rushing wave and it's going to crash all the way up there like so. Okay, let's make a shadow colour. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, a fan brush again. I'm going to take some Elysian Crimson and a tiny bit of Thalo Blue. A little bit more Crimson than Blue because I want it to the ready side. Crimson and Blue make a nice, a nice purpley colour. And we're just going to push in, scrub up just like so. Scrub, 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 scrub. Just like this. Go over there like that. And then bring it round. Load your fan brush again, get more paint if you need, don't be stingy with paint, okay, I know it's expensive, oil paint is expensive, but don't be stingy with it, okay, you'll not like it, if you try and do a painting without no paint, it don't work does it folks, trust me, I've tried, and I ended up with just a white canvas, <laughs> I'm only kidding, that's thinking that this hat's too tight aren't they? Maybe you're right. Okay, so nice shadow colour in there like that. Maybe we could take this right the way down just a little bit there. Maybe there's a bit there as well. Okay, now back to the fan brush with the white paint on. Load it up. Nice, lots of paint. And what I'm going to do is going to just push. 
just there like that just think of the individual splashes like churning up there like so oh this is mean this is a mean stormy wave like that maybe it's curling back on itself I'll, I'll show you a little fun trick as well uh, at the end yeah i'll show you a little fun trick now change the direction of the fan brush and we'll come in here and we'll bring those splashes all the way up there highlight the foam a bit more paint and we'll come up there like that okay now we've got a big crashing wave just there like so maybe a bit more there that looks unbelievable if i say so myself Right, I'm going to take a uh, brush that's going to blend this, maybe, maybe if I can find it. I do have this problem sometimes where I just have that many brushes I can't see. What I should do is just put them all out in the line, but you know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. So, really gently, just blend the shadow together. Just really bring that together, just very gently. Now what you could do, and I'm not going to do it this time, but what you could do is blend these out so it looks like a, a, the wave is quite soft. But I'm not going to do that. I want this wave to look raw and powerful and quite dramatic. Maybe a bit more white paint on there. Just touch that up. I do make noises when I'm painting as well. Does anyone else? Does anyone else make noises when they're painting? Or is it just me? Let's say this hat's too tight again. Okay, so I've got this little tiny bit of white paint on there. We can just drag some of this down. Just like that. Shape the wave. Shape it just easy. Easy peasy. I'll use any brush for this. There we go there we go so that's basically it for the wave let's put some background uh, C in there we don't want to leave a big void okay just get rid of that brush okay so let's use the palette knife i'm using the small palette knife okay and i'm just gonna push in a line just like so just try and really push that in okay behind that maybe another one Maybe another one, just there, like that. Wave it about. There we go, so we've got two lines, okay? Back to a brush that we can... I'm losing brushes here, left, right and centre. Okay, fan brush, and then all I'm going to do... Is it too thick? It's too thick, that one. Too thick. Let's get a tiny one. Okay, fan brush, and I'm just going to pull this white paint back. That's all I'm going to do. Pull this white paint back, but don't go into the up, you know, that line. So take this line into that line. Don't go into them. You need a dark area, this dark edge there to separate. And just pull and it'll make it look like the ocean. And come up there as well, like that. Same on this one, so we pull this one back. Okay, just pull that back yeah, like so. All right, how are we doing, folks? Are you enjoying it? How is it looking so far? How is it looking so far? Not too bad, not too bad. Right. Uh, palette knife. I'm going to redefine this edge now. So same principle again. A little bit of white paint on there. In fact, let me get the big knife. Big knife. Okay. Does things twice as fast. But it's not. Can't sneak into places. This big knife. Seems to have picked up a rogue air as well off the palette. Okay. So I'm just going to push on. I'm just going to highlight that top edge. Really push on. Bend the knife. If you're running out of paint, get some more. Okay, and really push on. Shape the crest of the wave just like that. All right, all right. Okay, maybe a bit up there as well. Shh. Really catching the light. 
All right, my darlings. Okay, so grab a brush again, and then just very gently take this, just like we did before, just take it back, just in places, just there, like so. Just work on that. Just take that back, just like that. It's a bit too straight for a wave, that bit. And that's all right, because we can just tickle it up. No problem, or we can do anything. We can do anything we want on this canvas. There. Okay, back to the thin knife, the small knife, thin knife. All right, so I'm going to scrape in a big rounded shape. So I'm going to start there and then just scrape round like so. I'm going to put a couple of them in. I'm using the small knife because it's easier to control, but you could quite easily do this with a big knife if, if, you, if you so wish or on a bigger palette perhaps. There, so we've got a couple of little foamy things that, that are living up there like that. Okay, well, I've got the knife. Well, I've got the knife on the go, back here on the horizon line. I'm just going to touch and put some some little sparkly things where the light's catching. Again, you do this with a, a script brush if you wish. Good use of the palette knife, this, this, uh, this painting. Palette knife and blending colour on the palette canvas, so to say. Uh, get a little bit of a lump that's too bright, just rub it into the background. Maybe some over here. Oh, a bit more. Get the, there, like so. There we go. I think that's coming on quite nicely. Maybe a little bit of a, a, a ripple in there or two. Shape the wave. There, like that really define some of these edges really build up paint as well when when you sell paintings people like thick oil paints and this is a good one for that because you can really build up the thick layers on the sea there we go just like that okay won't believe it would you won't believe i failed that i failed that and i got told that i would never make anything I would never make anything in art. Oh well, uh, that's what perseverance does for you. Okay, let me find a script liner brush. A couple more little fid fiddly things, a little bit of a detail. So script liner brush, let's go into that blue and crimson colour with the, the uh, Elysian Crimson and Phthalo Blue mix. And then we're just going to, there's a bit of paint thinner on there as well. I'm just going to cut in a couple of little, little bits like that. So you can see through the wave and you can spend hours putting these in. Different colours work very well as you get different colours in the sea, don't you? You get, well, I don't need to tell you what you get, do you? But uh, you know you get different colours in the sea. Okay, a couple in this, this trough. There we go, maybe one or two up there. You may have to look for these ones, but we know they're there. We know that they're there. I picked up a bit of white there. That's all right. Right, so I told you I'd do you a little bit of a sneaky thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fan brush, get a bit of liquid white and mix it with some titanium white. Plenty on the brush. I'm going to set the palette down now. Just set it down. Get the palette knife. And where we have got the wave, all I'm going to do is just put in some splashes. So this looks like little foamy splashes that are coming right off that wave and, and covering that area. Now, if you're doing this at home, obviously cover the back of your, your wall, where your canvas, uh, where your easel is, because you don't want to be painting your wall. But, but for, there we go. Right, that's it. Before I pick the palette up and sign it, what I want you to do is just uh, leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you like this one as well. And uh, let me know what you like to paint. I'll sign this in a second. But until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. And as always, have the sun and happy day.
Hasta la próxima.